Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Rogue Legacy. I, um, oh, I have a lot of money. I haven't played in a little over a week. It's been since I recorded my last, ah, oh, man, since I recorded the last episode, it's been a little while, so I forgot... I really, that would be really cool. I forgot what kind of what I was doing. I know I need gold. I know that I was going for a lot of gold. Um, this, so I think I finished the castle. I think this is the top, this is the last thing, and I, I have one of everything. Except for randomized children and bestiality. Both of which I can't afford. So we're gonna go for. If our goal is to get more money, now it's 10% more. That's not a huge amount, but maybe worth it? Maybe. We're gonna. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. And now I probably can't afford to upgrade anything else here, and I, I don't think I can afford a rune either. Whoa, I'm shiny. Um, was there anything in here I wanted to buy? I don't think so. I just need to quickly refresh where I was. Okay. This might be worth it. I can't... The minus 30 to my health is probably not... As damaging as the um, the oh, I wanted to increase my carrying capacity. I remember that now. The the plus to or the minus to my health is probably oh 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 um yeah okay we're 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 good still. The um the minus to my health is probably not as bad as the plus to my uh, as the plus to my the vampirism is good oh my god not a good start not a not, not, all right now like i said before i haven't played in a while but i um i'm getting rusty our goal is still gonna have to be to um, to get money, although I do... Now, last episode, I said I was planning to adventure into the Maya, and then I never really did that. So, I do... I, I do want to do that. I want to see what it is I need to level up, what I need to do better. Because I want to... I don't want to dilly-dally too much. I don't want to... Um, I don't want to spend too long. All right, this is just this seems impossible. It seems impossible. Oh, it's of course it's impossible because I can't. Oh boy. Well, that was a waste of damage. I don't want to dilly dally too much because I wanna. I, I'm I'm hoping to beat this game. You know, eventually. I, Obviously not anytime soon, since I can't even keep my... I can't even stay alive here. Oh, that, that spell was not very good. Oh. Um. But I really would like to, to beat this game. It's actually interesting. I don't know if I talked about this. In a, in a previous episode ever. One of the reasons, one of the biggest reasons I I thought it would be fun to start a, a Let's Play channel, and uh, I mean, besides the obvious ones, if I thought it would be fun, um, I thought it would be fun. I did it because I thought it would be fun. I mean, that's the main thing, but right, I'm gonna try to beat these guys. 
Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just... No, yeah, they're yeah, not too bad. Um... Ah! That thing is hard to aim. Oh boy. Well, I'm almost dead. This spell sword is not my, uh, not my A-plus character. It's way too magical. Yeah, that, that wasn't gonna, that wasn't destined to be good. Barbarian King, Assassin, Spelunker. Since we're going for gold, let's go with the Spelunker. I want a um, plus two equip. Yeah, and then I'm gonna get the blood, the blood cape. I'm gonna put on the blood cape. I have like no hit points now, but it might be worth it. We'll give it a shot and see. So, what I was saying, one of the reasons that I really wanted to start a Let's Play channel, besides what I said before, that it's fun and, and blah blah blah, is that I, um, I never finish games. I start games, and then I get sick of them, or I, I, I lose interest, I, I move on to something else. I never finish games, and I thought, or I hope, that the, um, the channel would force me, and force in the best possible way, to finish the games that I start, because I don't want to leave an unfinished series, because I, I, I don't, because that's always disappointing when people do that. I don't want to leave an unfinished series on my channel. So, I was hoping that it would make me finish playing. Now, so far, I don't know if that's working. I'm enjoying this game. I probably wouldn't quit yet. It tends to happen more with RPGs. Because they're sort of like... RPGs are sort of... I'm recovering five hit points per kill. That's actually really awesome. Um, what I tend to do with RPGs is, like, I play, 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 play them when I first start, and then they really... I mean, it depends on when, but I love RPGs. They've been my favorite genre for a really long time. But... And I think any fan of RPGs um, will admit this, they tend to get um, repetitive. And that was fine when I was um, in my heyday of RPG playing, which was like middle school, when, you know, I could put 200 hours into Final Fantasy and unlock everything and beat all the weapons and all that kind of stuff but I don't have time to do that now that I'm an adult with a job adult in air quotes as I have a YouTube channel where I play video games um, I can't I don't have the time to to play those kind of games or to spend that much time on those kind of games so what happens is I start playing an RPG, and um, when it starts to get repetitive, I quit. Not intentionally either. I, I don't. I don't say, "All right, this game is getting boring. I'm gonna quit." What usually happens is this seems like there should be a secret here. I just kind of stop playing, and it's like it's like a friend that you. You don't really- you like them a little bit, but not a, not too much. So you stop hanging out, you hang out less and less, and then, uh... You know? It's like that. Alright, I wanna go down and get this secret thing down there. It's like that. They're that friend that I- I don't- I don't hang out with anymore, unless they ask me to. And since games can't talk, the game never asks me to hang out so I don't ever play it. That happened recently with um, with The Witcher. I started playing The Witcher. Uh, this was a couple, uh, not that recently, it was a couple months ago. But I really liked it, like a lot. I was like, oh yeah, this is one of the better better RPGs I've ever played. 
And I still, I still maintain that it is one of the better RPGs that I've ever played. But I don't even remember what it was. And I didn't, I mean, I played it for a little while. I got through a couple towns before I gave up. But I remember something like... There was there was a specific amount specific specific thing, and I can't remember it now. That was repetitive enough that it made me quit, or that I like got stop being excited to play it. All right, I gotta read this book. Let's see here. Journal entry number seventeen. I must be going insane. I stumbled across a carnival inside this castle, complete with a sad clown and everything. He's sort of an ass. But I guess you can't be picky with your friends in a place like this. I'm getting hungry again. Good thing I topped up on chicken legs. I found those in a chandelier. This castle. Sometimes I wonder if it's all just a big joke. The chandelier and in, in the I did I read that one before? I know. I I know. I I get I think I know that I talked about some kind of talked about games breaking the fourth wall. I know I talked about that at one point. Oh, I can't kill this guy. I know I talked about that at some point. I don't know if it was in relation to that one. I know that I've read it before, if it was when I was playing or if I was watching a Let's Play of somebody else. Oh my god, I got two of that room. Oh, hello. Oh. My girlfriend has banana bread in the oven. That's extremely exciting. Hopefully I can have some of that soon. Of all the of all the things to get sidetracked talking about. Alright, so this should be the, the forest now. I never went back to that secret thing. I'm gonna teleport back here. I don't wanna, I still wanna, the castle really does give you a lot of gold. Like, especially with the Spelunker and the, the gold up and all that stuff, you really get a lot of gold out of the castle. Oh my god. So I don't really wanna neglect it. Oh, this looks like another thing about one of their games. Q. Oh, excuse me. Q, development time one month, release date March 18th, 2010. Our fourth project. After tribal tallies, we took a few months off from making games and just focused on our full-time jobs. We got angsty again, so we decided to make a puzzle game. At this point, most of the original founders of Salador Games left to pursue other opportunities, and the unwanted remnants are what compose the company today. That's not nice. Everyone is wanted. The game used a queuing combo mechanism to force players to think about how the tiles would fall in order to build massive combos, so that sounds cool. We made it free, but nobody picked it up either. After the failures of Band of Bears, Tribal Tallies, and Q, we prepped ourselves to pack it in and close the company. I'm glad they didn't do that. Because I, uh, I like this game. And, oh my god, really? I like this game, and, uh, um, they wouldn't have made it if they closed the company. I assume. Oh, I gotta, okay, okay. Hello. I gotta turn that off. I gotta read the message or it's gonna keep buzzing. Okay. The banana bread is in the- guys, the banana bread is in the oven. Don't worry. And I'm really excited about that. As you should be, because banana bread is incredible. Oh, I'm gonna die. I gotta kill- Oh, I died. I didn't quite have enough to, um... I didn't quite... I think the Lich King with all the... the Lich King with all the vampirism is going to be really powerful. I like the sound of that. I still don't have enough for all these things. I really want both of them. Um... There's no equipment I want still. Um... Death Defy... A 2.5% is not very much. Haggle. 12. I get to keep 12% of my gold? I don't know. Crit chance? I'm just gonna, I think, regular attack up. 
and um, regular health up. I think it's just, I think that's my best, my best bet here. With the Lich, the Lich King character gets more health the longer you, uh, more health the longer you, the more enemies you kill, gains max HP. And then the, uh, and then I have the, oh yeah, this is gonna be incredible. I have the Vampirism that, uh, gives me HP, so I'm getting 4 max HP and healing 5 HP every time I kill somebody. If I can not be stupid, I could, uh, this could be a good run. I could go far with this one. Whoa! Alright. That was some of my better dodging. It's not my, uh, not my best skill, usually. And now, in this, um... Now, in this level... Or this... This, uh, character situation... I don't want to be avoiding any rooms, because I want the HP up. The last one, I was, um... I was only going for rooms with chests and stuff, but and the fairy chests and all that jazz, but now I want to go in every room because I want to increase my hit points. Oh. Oh, this is terrible. Can I cross this gap without, uh... I'm gonna kill this dude first. Oh yeah, totally. No problem. No problem. Jump really high. That's nice. Oh boy. That spell is awesome. That was that was so cool. Oh no. Oh no. That wasn't as cool. Well, nothing here. Oh, jeez. What? I didn't... What? What? I... Man. Alright. Alright, our hit points are getting a little... A little lower than I'd like. I gotta... Make sure I... I don't take too much damage when I kill stuff. Now there's spikes down here. Oh, I'm gonna fall right into spikes. Yep. I gotta go back up. I gotta make sure I don't take too much damage, because this one has a lot of potential. This run has a lot of potential. I don't want to squander it. No squandering here. Oh, oh, those are, okay. Let me go left first. No squandering. Should be my motto. Oh my god. That was the very definition of squander. What? What? The down attack is really hard to do. I got it! Skyrune, is that the flying one? And I take damage immediately. That's fine. Don't care. That was excellent. I think the Skyrune is the flying one. That makes sense. Um, I haven't really... Okay, this is scary. Everything is going on right now is scary. I think the, um... I haven't used the flying one yet. Oh. Do I want to do it?
I remember this not being super hard. Well. Just have to stay in close. Yeah, alright, there we go. Nice! Oh, diamonds! Oh, I have seven. Okay. Um. I have nothing left that's not really dangerous. speed was too slow. Swing speed was too slow. Well, I got the mini boss and I got a lot of money, so that's good, at least. Alright, we're gonna do one more, I think. Oh, crap. Well, that was weird. Sorry, um, guys. Well, you're not gonna mind. You're not gonna mind because this is gonna be a really, a really, um, really smooth, seamless cut. And you're gonna say, what cut? The, exactly, exactly. The, um, I alt tabbed out of the game to see how much time I had left in this episode, and the game crashed. And so I'm back now. Yeah, flying. Alright, I'm not really that stoked to flying. We don't have very much hit points, we're the Spelunker again. Because I'm really golden, really looking for gold here. That's my goal. I'm hoping these damage ups are really gonna, gonna make a difference for us. What, now, what is the point of this? Is there? Doesn't seem like it. I was kind of hoping the game would make me look silly and have like a, a secret thing there. It is so nice to kill every enemy in one hit. Like, really, the damage, this damage ups are, are so far, so far really worth it. I'm wasting all this chicken. Alright, what's in here? What's in here? Mini boss. That would have been really cool, actually, if I if I could. Come on, just kill him. Mini boss. Mini boss was easy. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Well, that was nice. Well, I think I think that was worth. I think I think that was worth it. Any kind of upgrade we can get for our character, I think, is always gonna be always gonna be worth it. Okay, there's a lot of chests up there, and there's a fairy chest, so that's why I went back and came this way. I didn't say, I didn't mention that, but that's why I came back in this direction. It seems like, all right, here's a fairy chest that I can't do because I can't fly. That stinks. There's the boss room, so there's some money chests. Okay, so then this chest, this is just a regular chest. Oh. Oh. Do I want to kill all these guys? I, I, I do actually, because I want to recover hit points. Awesome. So I just came out of that room richer and healthier. Being rich and healthy is good. Everyone should be should strive to be rich and healthy in life. I think that's... I think those are two really important things to do. I, uh... I should probably... I should probably live by that a little more. I just started, uh... I just started working out and... Again, I say again like I ever really did. I haven't ever really worked out, like, regularly. 
I played a lot of sports when I was in high school. Well, not really. I played a lot of sports when I was in middle school. And before that, like, I, I played baseball my whole life. Um, I wanna, I wanna kill these guys. I played baseball my whole life, organized baseball for a long time, and I played basketball just for fun and, like, in my driveway with my friends. But, uh, sports are a great workout. And once I stopped playing sports, I kind of stopped being in shape. So, I play, uh, basketball now in a league. I also play volleyball in a league, but it's a different story. Um, and I really, tr I'm trying to get back into shape. So I've been running and doing push-ups and stuff. If anyone, this is a weird thing to ask for in a gaming channel, but if anyone has any exercise recommendations for getting back, getting into exercising again, um, I would appreciate it. I'm looking for stuff to do. I've been doing the, um, if anyone has seen, this got really, this really blew up because of this article. There was a New York Times blog had it. It wasn't an article. It was a blog on New York Times. Scientific seven minute workout. It was basically a interval training program. Um, people, the fitness people, I always, Anytime I have any passing interest in something, I, like, read the crap out of everything about it, which is fun, I think. Um, fitness people got kind of upset about it, because the blog sort of sensationalized the study. It was a study. It really sensationalized the study and made it sound like you only have to work out for seven minutes a day to be to to be just as healthy. And really, what they were saying is, here's they were they were recommending that was really stupid. The blog post was or the article, the original article was recommending that you do the um, the workout. Oh, I don't get health when I kill him with magic. Oh man! And there was a chest up there. No. The um. The article, the original, not article, the original study was recommending that you do the circuit three times. So it ends up being a 20 minute workout, which is exactly the amount of workout that people say you should be getting in the first place. So there's really nothing revolutionary or particularly exciting about it other than it's like a, here's some bodyweight exercises. And mild cardio exercises, jumping jacks and push-ups and sit-ups. Like, it's not exciting that you can do, and we think that this is an effective routine to do them with, and that's all. That's all it was. Alright, I need a... Oh my god, I was so close. I killed a lot of things. I got some money. I killed a lot of things and got some money. That's alright. That's all you can ask for in this game. Alright, that'll do it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below. Um, and if you want to see more videos from me, I strongly encourage you to subscribe. Make some come right to your feed, on your homepage, and to your email, and it's all kinds of good stuff. If this game looked fun to you, I also strongly encourage you to buy it from Cellar Door Games. Their website is in the video description, as always. It's uh, it's important to make sure indie developers get some love and, and don't give up and go work for EA, because that's not good for anybody. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna, the next episode will probably be very similar. I, I'm just kind of leveling up. The Maya is still kind of scary. Um, but we're gonna get we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. All right, that does it for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. See ya. Bye.